Where's everyone going? Bingo? So since we brought up that these guys look like they're out of Mad Max, what are your thoughts on the new Mad Max movie? I am so goddamn hyped for that. Okay, high five. Because I like Mad Max, too. I didn't like, like the first one that much, because the story felt really disconnected in the way that they were trying to tell it, but Road Warrior was fantastic. But no, I am so hyped for that. And it's one of those things, too, where it's like, their, their trailers for Mad Max have been some of the best trailers ever. Yeah. Oh, so speaking of new stuff that will that's recently been out that will date when this episode is recorded, because I was talking about Mad Max. Mad Max might be out by the time these episodes are going out. The, oh, really? Okay, yeah, um, oh, yeah, huh? But um, <coughs> pardon me. The uh, Deus Ex. Yes. There's gonna be another Deus Ex. Oh my so, God! I was our mutual friend Chicho. Let's talk about that for a minute. Oh God! I have been telling Chicho to play Deus Ex: Human Revolution since it came out. You're not the only one. I offered to because let him borrow it, like, twice. It's one of the... Well, him play Human Revolution was one of those things where, like, I played it and it was like, this game was made for Chicho. Yeah. <laughs> he really likes stealth games, and he really likes his moral choice. And this has... It's not a morality System thing. That's the best part. You can't... Stuff. It doesn't tell you what's what. The whole idea is you're affecting the way people perceive you more than anything. It's basically you're winning arguments with your, yeah. with your others, and that's what drives their opinions of you and how they help you later. So it's, if you want to go call it a morality system, it's a morality system for each person. And that's what makes it interesting. But, um, well, and I guess like a story kind of choice system would be another way to look at it. Yeah, and it was done so well, except for the bosses were kind of annoying. But, that being said... But he's playing the extended cut, which they are fixed in. Yes, which Come is... Come here, Ashley. Which is, Ashley! Once she gets hit, dude, she just gets... There you go. Come here, Ash. This is getting interesting. Anyway, yeah, so Mankind Divided looks amazing. I think Deus Ex, uh, the developers... Yeah, same thing of greatest trailers ever. Yeah, like, they have this yeah. awesome pedigree of making trailers that make me have to immediately purchase the most expensive variation of the game because it looks that damn good. Oh! Oh! <laughs> <laughs> and then yeah, I will go on record as saying the trailer for Human Revolution... Might be one of the best video game trailers ever made. Yeah, I would have to agree with that one hundred percent. I can sit. It's kind of like the trailer. I actually, let's, we're gonna bring this up too because Lost Odyssey, the E three trailer for that was good for different reasons than most other trailers at the time. Like it wasn't because it had a, a great audio source that was you know playing yeah. back music. It put you in the moment. It looked like it was just a war zone. And then at the the key final moments, they amp you up with some subtlety and music. And it worked really well. But the way Deus Ex plays it, it's like taking Ghost in the Shell, Blade Runner, and yeah. any other amazing sci-fi creation and mixing it into the best possible video game trailer you can imagine. Yeah, the Human Revolution games, too. And, uh, too, I've played Human Revolution, too. I really like that game. Yeah. Um, Human Revolution is the Ghost in the Shell game that I want. That everyone wants, yeah. No, totally. I agree. But goddamn, I wish they would make a good Ghost in the Shell game. They're doing, like, a Ghost... Cause yeah, I saw that. They're doing that a multiplayer online shooter, which, like, it looks okay. Like, it's one of those things, I'm gonna tr probably try it, because it's a Ghost in the Shell game. Yeah, but it looks like they're handling it well for the style that they're aiming yeah, for. Yeah, but I so don't want that. Because everybody that style either, but... makes action games it, yeah. out of Ghost in the Shell, which is not what really the franchise is known for. Shell. Yeah, It's, it's best... Like, for the like the stealth segments, really. Well, I like the action Ghost in the Shell. Like, not to denigrate the action of those, like it's very good and everything. But the interesting Ghost in the Shell has always been like about the philosophical aspects and the moral aspects to it. And yeah, that aspect's right. gonna come in here now. You know, actually, now that, now that you mentioned it, and I'm thinking that's why I want it. a moral choice based system. Like yeah, the Ghost in the, the Shell. The more you since you mentioned it, it's like you're absolutely right. The, the Human Revolution is kind of like taking the. Um, the Ghost in the Shell movie, and making that into a game with the way they handled the bosses, like with the tank. Yeah. It's like, that's actually the feel they got out of it, and it's emotionally driving to an extent, so it was like, now I really want to play it, damn it. Actually, I have the 
the uh, the director's cut on PS3 and on the Wii U. I just need to play it. Yeah, I want to play through the director's cut. Honestly, Chicho playing through it um, makes me want to replay it again. Yeah. And also, the thing with Chicho too is that we almost did um, director's cut of Deus Ex for an LP once. Oh yeah. Yeah, it was like it was between that and like one other thing. I can't remember. I can't remember what we ended up playing instead. Huh. Well, I think it might have been Rayman Legends. I could see that, yeah. That was probably it. That was around the time when it came out, so yeah. Well, no, because it was at the time we had just finished playing um, Origins, and like the week the final episode of Origins went up, Legends came out. Yeah. All's fair. Oh. Uh, There's two. I really hope they both go the same way. You're gonna have to stun that one, <laughs> otherwise. Oh, oh god. god! Oh god! It started running. What? Ashley oh, dies immediately from fire. Oh, she was like fire. no health. Oh man, this is tricky. This is very tricky. They're all murdering out over my corpse. Yeah. Well, that's kind of odd. This this episode, at least the first half, has been nothing but discussion of fantastic science fiction games. <laughs> I think I'm gonna try to kill the first one. All right, I, I I'm I'm game with that. Let's do that. If I can kill one, I can kite the other one. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, no, 100. percent Which that reminds me, actually. Um, now just because I'm thinking more on it. Um, I assume you're gonna get mankind divided the moment it comes out. Yeah. Yeah. The the weird thing about mankind divided, and I can see, I can see why they're doing it is because it's across systems, is that there's, like, no kind of save transfer or anything like that. Right. I kind of want them to... I, I would sort of like them to do a, um... A, an upload? Like, not an upload, but a, um... Knights of the Old Republic 2 style... You choose how your ending That actually died really fast. Yeah, That did. was two incendiaries and a mind art. Where you sort of retroactively choose what you do. Because did you ever play um, KOTOR 2? No, I have Do you know how it handles carrying over your choices from Kotar 1? I Because there's I don't. no official um, save transfer, but you have a conversation in the middle of the game where you are talking about the events of the first one and with a different character, and you get to confirm what happened. So, like, you'll say, like, I thought so-and-so was a Sith, and you can go, like, no, they were a Jedi, or no, or yeah, you're right, they were a Sith. And then for the rest of the game, that will confirm how everybody refers to that character. Oh, okay. It's a really smart way of handling. That it. is, yeah. I would. I expect them to actually do a data upload. Uh, they're not. They've already said they're not going to have any safe transfer. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah. So maybe that's going to just be like what they did with uh, Mass Effect, like with the PS3 version of two, where is you, it, you well, choose the events like at the beginning. It's like you need to. There's going to be happened. no way to carry over anything from one unless they do like a choice based because they said there's going to be no like actual. Right. Well, it's because well the thing. I, okay, the thing I really didn't like about Human Revolution was how you had access to all three, pardon me, four endings, simply by talking to people in the last thirty minutes of the game. Yeah. Well, and they've already. This is what they've done with the other Deus Ex games too. Is um, none of the endings are canon. Right. It's going to be some weird mix of all of them. Well, that technically means one one of the. Um, events at the end of 3 was canon then. Because... the we, Or one of the endings was canon? Yeah, because the way... the Because I got all four endings on Human Revolution. One of them was... The secret one was just flood the whole facility. And no, let's decide. not talk about this. We don't want to spoil games we're not playing right now. Probably not a okay. good idea. But no, there are four endings in the game, and what most likely what they will do is that they will make up an ending that combines all of the endings into one, so okay. certain parts of them all happened... Um, okay. That's what they did between the original Deus Ex and Invisible War 2, okay. where they were like, these certain things at the end of Deus Ex 1 all did happen, but they, like, all happened and not just one of them. Okay. Because, like, the the, the non-secret ending, there were three choices. Yeah. And there was a choice to tell this half, tell it this way, tell it this way, or tell them everything. Was pretty much like the breakdown yeah. and the tell them everything seems to be the way that this game's taking it 
Because that's that would make sense for the ti- the subtitling of <laughs> Mankind Divided. It's clear from um, the trailer, regardless of what it is, Day Six One did not turn out too well. <laughs> no. Yeah. I'm gonna solve my record. Well, yeah, because honestly, th- there was no no good way for three to end, which kind of. And then, of course, they segued into Deus Ex 1. God. You're really confusing me when you call it 3. Because it's not. It's the third Deus Ex game, but it's not Deus Ex 3. It's a prequel. I, I know. But that's like saying Devil May Cry 3 isn't Devil May Cry 3. But that's actually called Devil May Cry 3. Right. I'm calling it 3 because it's the third entry in the series. But yes, it is a prequel. I will, I will, I will contest that's correct. <laughs> okay, we're good here. I don't need to save. My only question is... Is Deus Ex 1 occurring side by side with Human Revolution? Or not no. Human Revolution, but uh, Mankind Divided? Or is this no. just before? Or just after It's one? still... They're, they're... They're really fucking up the Deus Ex timeline, and realistically, they probably have to change around a lot of stuff in Deus Ex to make the second one work, because 20... To, um, let's see, if I'm remembering correctly, Deus Ex 1 is 2040-something, and 2027... Is yeah, 2027's revolution. And 2027 is Human Revolution. Wait. Beep. But yeah, 20... Um, so, they're getting closer and closer to the time scale. And the thing is, in um, the original Deus Ex, augmentations are nano technology. They're not big, bulky things you put on your body. You just look like a normal human. And they're, like, humans are mostly indistinguishable from people who have augmented bodies. Except for, like, a few characters. A few, yeah. So, because, like, in Human Revolution, explicitly, the technology is new and it's not perfected, so they haven't been able to do that yet. That would make sense, then, too. So, it's going to look... So, they can't do that yet. Like, they can't go into Deus Ex 1 yet. And I know, too, apparently, um, this... Because the, the main villain of the original Deus Ex was actually in... Um, human Revolution for f- 15 seconds. Yeah, I And remember. he's going to be more of a villain in the new one, too. Yeah. But, well, that would make sense you why can't he... actually kill him off. No. Because he needs to show up for Deus Ex 1. Right. So it's it's one of those things, I think they should probably remake Deus Ex 1. Yeah, retell the story in a manner that fits it in better with the timeline they're working yeah. on now. Which, um... Which I am not opposed to. A lot of people would be opposed to that. That's kind of like sacrilegious in a way, considering like the love. And I, you know, I really like Deus Ex too. But there's a lot of people who would not be happy with that because it's like such a classic, and it's like kind of like going back and rewriting perfection See, sort of the thing. That's that's. I wouldn't be opposed to it though, because you know, there's it's, there's a very very tasteful way they could do it, and they're not likely to do it in that manner. Because in my opinion, what they should do is. Mo- do mostly a reskinning. Yeah. Like, keep the keep the mechanics for the most part the same. Do a, a overhaul of the skinning of the game, and then only alter select segments that tie it in a little bit better. So that way you're not overly aggressively altering what's already a masterpiece of a game in its own right. You know what I mean? Because well, yeah. Because part of the problem is too. They couldn't do a lot of what is in the original Deus Ex today. Yeah. Like, for popularity. Um, Because a lot of it would just be, like, too hard. It would be too hard, and it would be, like, technical things. It would be really hard to make some of the larger areas in the original Deus Ex, like, open and good-looking. Right. On, like, modern console hardware. So I mean, you can do it on the PC, but... All right. You know, another thing I'd like to see them do is overhaul System Shock 2. Yeah. It's probably not going to happen with the rational going down. But. Yeah, no. It'd be kind of cool, I've, though, if I someone picked I've, up the IP. I've never been too big of a fan of any of the Bioshock stuff, and any, most of the rational stuff, really. Um, it's like one of those... I've always, It's one of those things... It's kind of like Final Fantasy, where I've always thought something has done the same thing in the same time frame better. And that it's a lot of name recognition. Oh God! Yeah. So, what would you clarify as like the the same time frame for Final Fantasy? Um. Well, like for any given Final Fantasy, I'd say there's probably a game that's doing what Final Fantasy does that I like a lot more, 
and I think Final Fantasy gets a lot of credit because it's Final Fantasy and it's got a recognizable name. Like, I could pick out an individual RPG for, each. Ca- for like, each generation. I would say, like, this is a lot better than Final Fantasy, than the Final Fantasy that came out right now. Right. But it didn't get as much as attention as it could have because, um, Final Fantasy. Final Fantasy is yeah. the name. Well, this is ending... Uh, She's gonna die. Can't you heal her? Mm-hmm. No. I might be able to. Yeah, totally. Oh, come on. Damn it! Oh. No, I didn't pay close enough attention to the truck. Yeah, well, we'll have to try that again. <laughs> 